Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Myself Nolis Matani, software engineering student, and also salam and greetings to my course coordinator, examiners, supervisor, and all lecturers. Today I will present my final year project, my project UTM course management system. My supervisor is Dr. Adila Firdos Binta Arbain. This is my presentation content that consists of introduction, literature review, system development methodology, requirement and design analysis, and lastly conclusion. First of all, at the beginning, introduction. So, what is CMS? CMS is a course management system. This system is a set of tools that enable the instructors to see the on the display his or her assigned courses with details and he deliver the academic materials, monitor student participation and access student performance of that course. Basically, UTM CMS will be primarily aimed towards UTM students since they will be able to access course related materials with a couple of clicks. Now, problem background and solution. So problems based on this proposed project, we have some existing systems. In here, I took two existing systems like Modly and Blackboard. So Modly and Blackboard system are platform that allow lecturer and student share their documents their own style there are few tools that allow lecturer and students to explore course submit papers view grades and so on this system is so large and generic it might be difficult for user to find the certain style and this system modly and blackboard includes assignment management collaboration communication and so on but especially course code, course name, course time and date, lecturers, view performance analysis of this student that are absent into both systems. Based on this, created some solutions into my proposed system providing the lecturer and the student with a system that allows them to effortless access information then easily generate all student performance and also student can view his or her performance and lecturer can add any kind of notifications like when will be our extra class when we are class cancel and so on next our project objectives first of all to elicit the requirements of the course management system about what the lecturer and student needs for the project system to document that information then to design and develop the utm course management system to test up the course management system using lecturer and student acceptance testing and then project scopes first of all the system will be web-based application this system user mainly lecturer and student this system focuses mainly on the overall course management and the system will provide it to see the who is the course lecturer, course name, course code, take the specific course, when is the class time, when will be our class cancel, when the student performance, lecturer can view his or her overall classes performance analysis and student can view performance analysis individually. So now our project aims. So project aims, it is enable lecturer and student to see the display of course details, can analyze the performance, created and view notification when class will be extra class and when will be our cancel class. So now I will describe the literature review. First of all, discuss on our existing systems. So our existing system is Modly and Blackboard. So here have the Blackboard interface and here have the Modly learning system interface. Blackboard learning system interface is not user friendly and Modly learning system is not user friendly. Actually we used 
for our UTM students. So we will use the interactive user friendly web based system. So comparison between existing systems with proposed system. So here have the features blackboard learning system and modly there are two existing systems and proposed UTM course management system is our proposed systems. So blackboard learning system and modly learning system able to view all features without login and proposed UTM course management system without login it cannot be accessible. Blackboard and Modly both system have no past program and current program view but our proposed systems UTM CMS system will have but three systems are real time information and store the capture data in database three uh, systems so course information as a lecturer and information lecturer and student blackboard have no but modly and utm course management system have upload code materials have blackboard have no options but modly and utm cms have availability so availability uh, worldwide we can use blackboard modly and proposed systems now what technology used for development so i used the vs code HTML, CSS, JavaScript for front end development and backend node.js and MySQL and also use the web server jump. Now I will describe the system development methodology. I use waterfall methodology. In this method, it works first of all, analyzes the requirements and that design the system until it working continuing until when it is not fixed the looping after that when fixed the requirements analysis is okay then go to the system design and go to the implementation and then testing stage so now here have the so now hardware and software requirements so hardware requirements was ram hard disk processor graphics processor type of systems and obviously we need the internet connection and software requirements we need to focus on operating system code editor web server scheduler that we uh, edit our project time we have also the design tools now now i will describe the requirements and design analysis first of all have a use case of overall utm cms system so if we see here have the lecturer and student two actors in the system so lecturer and student can view enrolled course after they are logged in then lecturer can able to create notification also able to upload marks view marks upload course materials view course statistics so this one is uh, lecturer can view overall courses statistics then upload and download documents besides are able to view course materials view performance analysis individually view notification what doctor gave us and then download and upload documents that was our use case of utm course management system now we will see the system architecture so system architecture have three options model view and controller we also known that mvc so model we have a class and database and view we can see our into our interface and controller how to internal process will be handle the controller so model we have class we have seven classes lecturer student course marks notification course materials and course statistics so similarly we have a database based on our classes like lecturer database here lecturer database just store the lecturer id and password similarly like students course marks notification course materials and course statistics database then view we will view the enrolled course pages notification page course material page mark space student performance upload download controller controller we have a notification course materials student performance analysis controller and also the marks controller so now i move to sequence diagram sequence diagram actually in here i describe one randomly for example 
so i choose upload course materials sequence diagram here the actor is lecturer so lecturer will upload the materials then course interface so lecturer will go to the course interface then here he saw the upload materials and after materials upload materials interface will shown the um, will display the upload interface upload after that professor will upload the file and file controller will check this file is valid or not if the, this file is not valid then upload material interface will show the display error message and display error message will also back to the lecturer this looping is continuing until get the valid file when the file will be valid then store the file and go to add materials this way working on our sequence diagram for upload course materials section so now i will describe the entity relationship diagram of utm cms so here are seven classes lecturer student marks courses notification course materials and course statistics here we have a primary key lecture id is our primary key and password then similarly student have also the student id and password so student id will be primary key so student and lecturer both have a course so courses have marks notification course materials and course statistics so courses have a marks so marks id will be the primary key marks id here like uh, it is the test 1 test 101 test 202 will be the marks id and then course so course code course name course section materials id course notification document so course is course code is the primary key we have a unique uh, courses so we can easily identify our course code every courses will have the notification cause uh, we need to maximum time need to class extra class need cancel class etc so for this purpose we need to notification so notification subject will be our primary key like extra class 01 extra class 02 like this way will be the notification subject that will be our primary key and then notification have a details and also need to put date and courses have a course statistics like test name test name means it will be assignment or it will be quiz it will be test project project parts etc so this name will be the primary key and statistics also cover the average marks maximum marks and minimum marks so course materials so course materials we have a course materials code Good, uh, course materials will be our lab sheet or assignment or our slide that was our course materials so it was our primary key and course name and due date if it is our lab we need to lab 01 like lab 01 and then we need to put when it will be our submit this section so this is our entity relationship diagram of utm cms next so prototype of utm cms first of all this is the student interface and similarly this interface use also the professor professors so here have the course listed that already enrolled after login this page will be shown if we select one courses if we follow then we can see we have a extra class cancel class it handle the lecturer it can be delayed and up, uh, create notification after that we have a course management where we have a uh, if we select on a specific course then after that interface will become lecturer slide activities exams performance view all notifications if we click on performance analysis then we have two type of performance we can analyze like table on chart table will be shown and here have the chart options then we have a notification for a csj and then lecturer can add the notification topic notification date and time and so on so lecturer when create notification for extra class then we need they need to add topic date time room notification and after that it will be post so course management uh, when it is the 
course management create notification section it can be lecturer easily extra class cancel class and others notification can post after that when professor need to upload marks it can two ways is a table and upload marks via add file so file can be doc and post and save it then lecturer upload the marks and after that view the marks so this is the sum prototype of utm cms this is some pages of notification of utm cms into my project reports i described briefly at the conclusion stage presently we are in covid 19 pandemic situation everything is going to be online based so in a single click we can get many things shopping to education every section are online based so that course management system will keep easier into our education lecturer and student easily engaged into the system this system may help to easily get the course related information easily to the lecturer and students so that's all for me thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh